We're going to add an authentication feature to our Clicker app now. The basic idea is that when the app first starts up, you can see that these buttons uh, do not do anything because I have not logged in yet. But once I do log in, after I get a message saying that my login was successful, you see the app now comes alive as before. In most applications, this login screen would be a different screen than the app screen. Just to keep things simple, we're going to do it all on one screen. So let's look now at what code needs to be added to add this feature. Let's change the user interface first by adding the uh, email and password prompts for the login process. So to do that, I'm going to clear all the previous constraints and I'm going to add the necessary elements. Now we want to make sure when they type in their password that the password does not show while they're typing it in. And we have some special uh, text fields to do that. First let's put in a plain text field here for the email. And um, let's go with the hint here to put in email. It's important that we put this into the hint field and not into the text field, and I'll show you a second why. <clears throat> and, and we don't want anything here. And now we're going to put in the password field right underneath. And once again, we're going to put in the hint, which is password. Now the problem is if we had put this over here, let me show you what's going to happen if that happens. You can see that the password hint won't show up because it doesn't want to display what's in here. So it's better if we put it into the hint field up here. And now we also need to add a button for the login. Okay, so I've added the necessary elements and I'm once again going to allow Android Studio to figure out where the constraints should be. And now once I've got all that in place, uh, we're ready to change the code now to match the new user interface. So let's go over to the Java file and add the variables that we need now. I've created a new sign in button over here and I've created edit text fields on the Java side for the email and for the password and I've created um, links between the Java and the user interface uh, for all these new components that we've just put together here and here okay so we're ready now to go on with the rest of the code development